I'm chair of the judges of the RSL Christopher Bland Prize. Um, the Royal Society of Literature is grateful to Lady Jenny Bland and family for their support of, of this prize. On behalf of myself and the other judges, Mina Kandasami and Simon Savage, uh, I'm delighted to inform you that you are this year's winner of the £10,000 RSL Royal Society of Literature Christopher Bland Prize. Congratulations, Patterson. That's what? Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, <laughs> extraordinary. Um, I don't know what to say. So thank <laughs> you very much. I wasn't expecting that. I feel ambushed. <laughs> um, I usually, even though I am an improviser, feel like uh, I get a little bit of run up. Um, but this is totally taking the wind out of me. I thank you. I feel very humbled by it and um, gratified. Uh, when I be became an actor, um, I, this would have been when I was about 18 and a bit, I said um, to myself, you know, a what I really would love is to be known amongst my fellow actors as a good actor. And I didn't really care much about um, anybody else. <laughs> I, I wouldn't ignore the audience now, but I, I certainly feel like that is the best accolade when another actor acknowledges what I've done. So when, when an award committee who, who are writers and writers I admire, writers of very long standing, writers who have been doing this um, committedly for most of their lives, acknowledge a piece of work that I've done in, 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 um, in such a way I am, I'm humbled and I am also uh, majorly encouraged to think of myself as part of your world. So thank you all for this um, wonderful award. Thank you. We 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 feel like you have taken us on a journey which was an important journey to uh, travel, uh, but a wonderful, wonderful journey and um, an inspiring one and uh, one in which you wore you wore the research that you'd done with such. Um, uh, skill and uh, um, oh, it's just it's just a thing of beauty the book is a thing of beauty I've read it a few times now it, it's my first novel and it is the first prize I've ever won for any piece of writing I've ever done we are so proud to be able to be a, the first of what I, I absolutely know is going to be many you can only be the first once and we, we we feel really blessed to be to be the first um, prize that you win for this book because there's going to be more. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I, I am ridiculously uh, grateful and it, uh, just very grateful and and a little overwhelmed, but um, very grateful to you and to hear it from you too, Len. Because even though we've been uh, artistic ships that have passed in the night backstage somewhere we've <laughs> never really formally met i don't think it's true yeah, yeah. Had a pop, a cup of tea. i think we have yeah, mutual friends yeah. so to hear it from a a, a a friend a fellow traveler um an, an artist who has my great ad admiration not just for the work that you do but for the personal um part of it that you put into everything that you do unashamed thank you the, you can't say anymore I, I much appreciate it and i'm not you know going to poo poo and a compliment from somebody such as yourself but this is your moment and, yeah, and this no, is you know and we, and we we have we you know we we have we've we've walked inside the world that you've created that wasn't there before except for in the actual human being that you're writing about you have done something incredible well, on behalf of myself and Ignatius Sancho, who hovers always over me, uh, making me feel guilty when I sit down and watch Match of the Day instead of writing about him or researching him, who makes you feel guilty when I do anything other than <laughs> to concentrate on him. We we thank you, me and my forerunner, uh, our forefather, Ignatius Sancho. There he is. Um, 
And I, I, I honestly wasn't flim flamming you. The personal is in this story. You, 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 you teach me in your work to add the personal to the artistic, and it's helped me know myself. And I, I'm hoping that it's helped people know him. Um, and uh, any, uh, any, any of the, any of the um, sort of possession that he's given me, the, the, the fact that he's allowed me to speak in his voice, uh, in my interpretation of his voice, it has to, the, the thanks has to go to him for his, his initial writing, where I steal his style in his letters, uh, where I steal his style in, in, his, um, in his conversable, if you like, conversational manner. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, that's a tribute to the man himself too. But uh, I thank you for, um, for this prize and I and I and I hope that uh, the other uh, nominees will know that my deep deep respect is with them and I, I am very privileged to be the one who has been um, who's been given the prize but I, I know that I'm in great company. Um, I, I need to ask you you know have you sold the film rights for it yet? Uh, seriously has anybody taken out an option on it yet? Yeah. And this is a, an, an interesting story I don't know how long we have um, but basically, no, uh, the film rights uh, are with me. And um, uh, the story really is that, um, <laughs> it's hard to say without uh, it sounding like gossip, but a certain uh, television uh, company, um, uh, an American television company that often makes uh, historical drama set in Britain, um, yes. uh, bought it, but uh, from the eight episodes that I, I initially gave them, they reduced it uh, lately to 90 minutes. And I, and I I couldn't accept that because uh, I didn't think that was doing Sancho uh, the right kind of service. And so I withdrew. Oh, wow. So I withdrew from that. But that, that took about a year and a half for that to happen. So it's there floating in the air. So yes. We'll, we'll, yes. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens to it. The next thing I'm going to do with it is take it on the road as a, um, a sort of book tour uh, mixed with biography. Um, somebody told me that Dickens did that, so I feel like I'm in good company. Oh, that's, that's great. Insulted company, but in good company. So I'm going to take something like that on the road and probably start um, uh, this year. Uh, and hopefully people will see that. I've got a working title. It's called Sancho and Me for One Night Only. <laughs> because every night will be improvised, and I might even do a bit of uh, uh, dressing up as Sancho and allowing people to ask me him questions uh in a, in a hot seating manner so yeah we'll see and as, as a means of encouragement um you know this this prize asks i mean there are so many ways that a person can creatively go live performance film television you know etc however are you thinking about writing another novel uh, interesting. Think, it doesn't have to be because there are millions of creative ways to go. I, I understand. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I um, I don't know when a novel will pop out, um, but I I do say that the reason this is a novel and not the monodrama which it's based on is because I wanted it to be more personal, and I I say this on the road and it's true. I don't think there's any way better to tell a story than through a novel, because mm. if you decipher the as Sancho calls them the hieroglyphs. Uh, on the page, they become images in your head that are indelible. And that memory is yours and yours alone. And no matter what director of photography, what actor yes. is cast, you will always have that in your head. And so I wanted that, that personal touch. So if I write something else again, it will have to, a novel, it will probably have to be because I want that to happen for the character. The next thing I want to write is probably a mixture of fiction and nonfiction. And, and it's it's really based on my um, uh, emotional response to the hundreds upon hundreds of paintings and portraits from probably the 1500s on, if not before, of European uh, royalty, usually gentry. And they are named, sometimes their horse is named, sometimes their house behind them is named or the grounds. And then it says, and Negro child. Yes. So, so for me, that's an investigation because Sancho, as we, we see, is named, he's famous. Yes. He's forgotten. I would say probably for most uh, of the 19th century, people didn't know who he was. And by the time 
the portrait was sold and taken off to Canada, maybe 150, 200 years after it was painted. He was, um, um, he was forgotten, but now he's known. What about all these other children um, who, who are nameless? So I, I might get a bit obsessed with that for a while. Your publishers is praying. <laughs> <laughs> Patterson yeah. Joseph, thank you. Thank you very much, Liam. Thank you all. <laughs>